I'm from London, uh, and I grew up in London, but my parents are both Canadian. Um, I'm uh, Jessie, I'm from Australia, from Tasmania actually, but I live in London, I've been there for 10 years. You follow me? No. Must be going to the same place then. So I started yeah, I working so. as an actor from a young age. Mm -hmm. I've been working since I was about seven and my first ever film was Saving Private Ryan. So obviously from the moment on I was like, I want to make films, <laughs> I want to make films. Um, so uh, I, I've been a, I'm an actor as well. I've just worked on a, a great film called um, The Hummingbird Project by Kim Nguyen, who's a Quebecois director. Um, but I, I've been directing since I graduated from university. Uh, I realised that I wanted a bit more autonomy over the projects that I did, and so I started writing my own work and directing my own work, and it's really grown so from there. Just just in Australia, I did a lot of work in production. So I came up through the ranks of production um, and uh, got to being a producer in Australia and then decided I needed some international finance experience. So I transferred over to London and started working for a sales company, so learning how to finance feature films. And I've been doing that for 10 years, along with my own independent producing. It's really important to tell stories, different stories around sexuality and around uh, female sexuality, because I think so often men have told stories about women, and it's always been for men. Uh, women's experience has been sort of co-opted by men. So I think now we have more female filmmakers, we have more people of colour making films, we have a lot more space in which to explore different perspectives. And so that was sort of the initial sort of germination, I wanted to tell a story that meant something to me and meant something to women that I knew uh, who felt the same way and had had different experiences that, that connected with what I wanted to tell. And also I think it's, it's very easy very quickly and when you're younger to start relationships that are very um, normative. I'm, I'm stuck in the caves and I, and I don't know where I am and the tide's coming in and I'm really scared. Financing was a joint effort between the two of us. It was, the budget was £12,000. And eight? £12,008. And, pounds. <laughs> and uh, in the UK we have something called the tax credit, which there are various versions of across the world, and I'm sure France has a version of it as well. And that means you get 20% of your budget back, so we put 20, so we, that was £2,000 basically. We put some of our own money in. We did a kind of unofficial crowdfunding with a whole bunch of our supporters. Anna's obviously got a lot of films behind her, so she's got a lot of fans and people who want to support her work. So those people were very generous And just to kind, us. generous, amazing humans yeah. who <laughs> believe yeah. in me and us. And, yeah. you know, I was really thankful because it really doesn't exist without everyone. Come on. Well, we're working on a feature film together. Mm -hmm. Uh, which I, I've been working on writing for a little while, but I think we're finally getting somewhere. Uh, so we're hoping to get that made in the next couple of years, is the aim. And I've just finished directing a short film in Canada, actually. Uh, so that's uh, in post-production right now. So we'll see where that, where that goes and when we finish that off. And, um... and I've just uh, produced with uh, my co-producer, Jennifer Erickson, a feature film which is financed by Film London and the BFI and the BBC. Um, and that is being directed by Renee Padavis, who had a film called Jacked, which screened at This Is England last year or the Two year years ago, before. I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is a really beautiful, successful film. Um, yeah, we're in post production, we're in the edit on that. Woo! Woo! The community Woo! here, everyone is so fun and generous and they care about cinema and they care about giving us a good experience and I couldn't be more grateful. I had the most wonderful time last year and I was so uh, happy for the film to be uh, chosen to screen. I know how many entries you guys get so it was uh, a real joy and I was like, yep, booking those train tickets immediately. <laughs> so <laughs> I was really happy to come and happy to come back with Jesse. Ultimately, it's a game of chance. I wonder how much you lost. Beds, please. <sighs> Kindness. Kindness. <laughs> Engaged, but can I explain that? <laughs> I mean, it's such a wonderful experience to come to a festival where the audience is so engaged. We are not used to such a cinephile culture in the UK. It's really lovely to have our film viewed by people who are willing to engage in it so, so enthusiastically and so intellectually. So, yeah. I would agree with you. <laughs> Love French cinema, <laughs> love French cinema. No, it's, um, I was actually just 
one of the film that we're working on, one of our references, Mia Hansen loves Lavinia, or things to come. So that's a, that's a big reference. But really, you know, historically, French cinema is, is just so yeah. Uh, yeah. leaps and bounds ahead of us English speakers. So <laughs> we take a lot of inspiration from you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.